Sekai will end with season six. Who do you think is going to win the Sekai Takai tournament? Will Julia Pierce finally appear? What if the Cobra Kai Dojo loses? Here are all season six theories so crazy that they might be true. Enjoy the video and the spoilers. The bad news is that Cobra Kai is ending with its sixth installment. The good news is that this is going to be the best season of the entire show. Why? Well, because of a lot of things, including a wedding, exciting cameos, and of course, thrilling storylines that we can't wait to see. Ending a show such as Cobra Kai is a difficult job, more difficult than you can imagine. The creators need to give a proper ending that will do justice to Karate Kid, aka Cobra Kai's predecessor. In the previous installments, viewers followed Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso through various adventures while introducing the new generation of characters. We have more good news in store. The last installment will be a lot different compared to the previous seasons. Different how? Well, for starters, this season will be the biggest yet. At least that's what the creators promised. The season five finale left us with many questions, which led to hundreds of theories fans are constantly coming up with various theories regarding the fan favorite character's future. What's going to happen with the Cobra Kai Dojo? Who's going to win the Sekai Takai? What if the Cobra Kai Dojo loses? Based on the season five finale, Cobra Kai's future is quite uncertain. As you already know, Terry Silver was arrested following his fights against Chosen and Daniel LaRusso. As for John Kreese, well, he's on the run and the students left the studio after they discovered what Silver did. There are many storylines that need to be squeezed into the final installment. Our biggest fear is that the creators will ruin the series finale by putting all those storylines into just one season. Then again, they promised a bigger season, so we don't have to worry about this. Cobra Kai Dojo being removed from Sekai Takai makes zero sense. That's the title of the series, after all. Sekai Takai is a global karate tournament, so we expect to see a bunch of dojos. There are, however, a lot of theories suggesting that Cobra Kai Dojo will lose the tournament. Do you guys think that's a reliable theory? Let us know. Now, per a report by Netflix, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Oh <laughs> uh, no. Actually, one of the most exciting things about season six is without a doubt, Julie Pierce's cameo. It doesn't have to be long. We just need her to make a short appearance, at least. Her cameo would make so many of us happy. Played by Hilary Swank, Julie Pierce is one of the original Karate Kid characters, and it's quite disappointing that she hadn't already appeared in Cobra Kai yet. In the third Karate Kid installment, she trained with Mr. Miyagi, and well, the rest is history. There are some rumors suggesting the character will make an appearance because she is, as mentioned before, Miyagi's only female student and an essential part of the Karate Kid franchise. But what will happen to Kreese? John Kreese and Terry Silver are two of the most powerful Karate Kid villains. Without these two, Karate Kid wouldn't have been so successful. And now, Cobra Kai has the chance to fix at least one of them. The situation with Silver is quite complicated. He doesn't believe he's evil because he only wants to defeat everyone who stands in his way. The best thing that could happen is definitely a defeat. More precisely, Silver needs to be defeated in order to learn that his plans for Cobra Kai don't and won't work in the future. As for Kreese, well, his situation is less complicated. In fact, season five already set him up for redemption. In the Karate Kid franchise, Kreese was already becoming aware of his fears. We don't think he'll turn into a good person at the beginning of season six, but he'll definitely become a better person at the end of the series. What do you guys think is the most suitable ultimate ending for Kreese and Terry Silver? Let us know before we jump into more details regarding Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan's cameo. Okay, I know I'm asking for too much, but imagine how amazing it would be if the creators decide to spend more money on the last installment of the series and cast Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan, who starred in the 2010 remake of The Karate Kid. If they appear on the series, they would be perfect as a student and sensei respectively. They could easily enter the tournament. Don't you guys think this is an incredible idea? Well, now let's get into more details regarding Kreese's relationship with Johnny. These two have been in a complicated relationship for more than 30 years, and I think it's time for Johnny and Kreese to put the conflict behind them. 
In the previous installment, Kreese opened up, and even if all those words are just a manipulation, it's clear that he feels some kind of respect for Johnny. Just like Redditor user Lenny Degg wrote, Kreese, quote, needs to make peace with Johnny, who he always thought of like a son. This is why we need to see Kreese again. He needs to make at least an appearance, even if it's a short one. After he makes an appearance, he's free to go on the run again. Now, we also mentioned something about a wedding before, and we mentioned that because Johnny and Carmen need to get married. In the fifth installment, viewers discovered that Johnny and Carmen are expecting a child. Based on their relationship in season five, and of course, based on how well the dynamic in the family is, Johnny and Carmen are likely to have a wedding in the last installment of the series. Johnny and Robbie's mother have no issues in their relationship. Johnny is one of the main characters in the series, so it makes perfect sense for him to be given a happily ever after in the end. This only brings us to the perfect ending. There are a lot of different opinions about Cobra Kai being the final installment of the series. Some fans think this is a mistake and the show should definitely go beyond its sixth season, while others argue that the series should have ended in its fifth. My theory is that this is the perfect time to end the series. In other words, Cobra Kai season six seems like the perfect time to give the characters a proper ending. The fifth season already teased that the show is moving closer to its conclusion, and if they continue the series beyond season six, well, we could see the thing no one wants to see in a series, a repetitive plot. After two All-Valley Karate tournaments, four including the ones from the Karate Kid and the Karate Kid Part 3, it's really time to put an end to it. Season five already spent half of the episode setting up for the Sekai Takai, an international karate competition, in which we'll see both Cobra Kai and Miyagi Fang. Seeing each and every character perform in the global tournament is, without a doubt, the perfect conclusion we could get. It's also a proper one. Sadly, the show has spent its full potential already, and the plot already feels a little repetitive. Remember how many times Daniel and Johnny wanted to start working together but ended up fighting? This was happening over and over again. As for the returning cast members, you have no reason to worry, because we do know that Ralph Macchio and William Zabka will be returning as Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence, respectively. And, well, we expect to see all of the regulars, including Zolo Maraduena, Tanner Buchanan, Mary Mauser, and Jacob Bertrand. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> oh, goodness. Terry Silver, portrayed by Thomas Ian Griffith, will return as well. I mean, he's not supposed to miss the Sekai Takai tournament after all. See you in the next video.